Hey guys, I'm back with another pregnancy vlog. It is, I believe, my 33 week update. I'm a little, I don't know, I say this every time. I'm a little, I thought I was at 32 weeks, but I went to the doctor today and they said I was 33, that I was measuring actually a little closer to 34. So I don't know if that means baby's bigger, um, further along than we originally thought. I don't quite know. So anyways, um, I did go to the doctor today. We had our um, further along anatomy or ultrasound anatomy scan and I will talk about that in a minute. Pretty exciting. So anyways, let's get started with just the general vlog questions that I do every video. My total weight gain. I don't remember what it was last video, but it is up to 19. I'm going to blame that on Thanksgiving, eating a lot and desserts. I've definitely started um, wanting to indulge in more junkiness. So as long as I don't like get too far, I have less than two months left. Um, that is crazy to think about. Crazy, crazy. So, you know, I gained, it was either 45 or 55 with my daughter. I used to say it was 45, but now for the life of me, I can't remember. So I, I won't be doubling my weight. So I won't be getting there, hopefully. I've been really good just this lately. It's been a little more crazy. Okay, maternity clothes. Yes, I definitely need maternity clothes, but I don't wear all maternity clothes. Like today, I'm wearing some of my Victoria's Secret pink leggings and this cow neck thing from Target. And neither are maternity and they work. A lot of shirts, if they're not super long, they're definitely too short. But a lot of my maternity shirts, I just don't want to wear. I want to wear a lot of my regular ones. Luckily, I do have, I do stay home, so I can get away with leggings most every day. I always wear shirts that are longer anyways. And, um, you know, I have my maternity jeans. I ended up never buying some skinny leg ones because I just... I don't want to wear jeans. The leggings are so much more comfortable. So I still am wearing pretty much all of my regular clothes if I want to. Stretch marks, none so far. Was a little concerned because my belly had gotten so big so fast there for a bit. So far so good. But I'm a little, I'm kind of lazy with my body belly butter products. Like I moisturize and everything all the time, but a lot of times I'm just using whatever. But I need to be a little more conscious, especially towards the end and then afterwards. Because you definitely want to keep using those products after you give birth. So that, I think that's a lot of times when people actually get stretch marks. I filmed some videos earlier and had forgot I meant to do this. And I was wearing a darker lip and took it off because my lips are so incredibly chapped. So I'm just wearing like a really thick lip balm. Okay, sleep. Sleep's pretty good. Pretty good. Some days good, some days bad. Best moment of the week. Going to the doctor today and doing the ultrasound. Um, I'll talk more about that when I'm done. So that was definitely the best moment. Miss anything? <laughs> My energy. That's definitely what I'm missing. Movement. The baby moves like crazy. And it's to where you see it on the outside. Like it will be doing something. And it's like. And you can see like. You know. The belly just doing like that. That's pretty fun. Food cravings slash aversions. Um. It's not really a craving, but I'm really enjoying like caramel corn. Me and my daughter had gone to Target earlier and she wanted a snack. And so we went to the holiday section where they have all the good treats and she picked out caramel corn. And like, I don't know if I ever really even liked caramel corn that much before, but now I'm really enjoying it. Aversions. I mean, it's just mostly meat, like chicken. Oh, I just, I don't really like a whole lot of meat. I'm not a crazy big meat eater in general, so it's not really that um, odd for me. I just, I have a sweet tooth like no other. And I've been really into like coffee, uh, decaf coffee of course, and creamer. And But when I get done with this, I'm going to go make me a chai latte decaf and put some whipped cream on top. I'm just real into the hot drinks right now. Okay, anything making you queasy or sick? No, I feel really good. I'm pretty much past that point. I do have some serious heartburn lately. Oh my gosh. I'm like living on Tums. And in the um, ultrasound today, the lady did say, she said, oh, that is a head full of hair. So if it has a head full of hair at this point, I feel like that's crazy. Um, 
I had heartburn with my daughter, but not as bad as this time. This, I feel like I have it constantly. And my husband, he has, if you watch that gender reveal video, then you did see a clip of him. Um, he has really, I think he was wearing a hat. I don't know. He has really dark hair. And I have really dark hair. And our daughter's hair is like strawberry blonde. And so I always envisioned our kids having like a lot of dark hair and dark eyes. So I don't know if maybe this kid will. My daughter, she had hair, but the way the lady made it sound, it just sounded like a lot. I don't know. Okay, um, have you started to show? Yeah. Gender, still don't know. They asked us today at the ultrasound if we wanted to know, if we were still waiting. We we're still waiting. Labor signs, no, but I definitely feel, I have like uncomfortable moments. But nothing really to complain about. Honestly, I'm just, I'm tired at the end of the day, like, oh. Belly button in or out. It is starting. It could be becoming an Audi. And I'm horrified by that. Because with my daughter, it started like it got flat. Not not even quite flat. This time it's flat. And ugh, there's definitely a little part of my belly button that's sticking out. And it's stressing me out. Because I have this thing. It's really weird. I don't like people to touch the inside of my belly button. Or this little thing on your neck. Mm -mm. Can't even talk about it. And my husband, he wants to rub that part of my belly button. And it's, oh. It's, okay, wedding rings on or off, on. My hands haven't swollen any. Nothing swollen so far, knock on wood. Happy or moody? I mean, I'm pretty happy. I, I think I'm a pretty happy pregnant person. I think I'm probably a little more happier pregnant than not pregnant. Honestly, I'm just, um, I think I let certain things get to me more. Like, I'm a little more... I don't want to say irrational, but some stuff it's like, why would that even bother you? I think I do that. Um, I'm, I'm just tired. Looking forward to just the holidays. Everything's going good. Everything's great. So far, this pregnancy has been pretty stress-free. I had that issue with the cellulitis, which I talked about on my foot, which was fine. I didn't even have to be hospitalized. Thankfully, I'm so lucky there. I mean, I've just, it's gone really smoothly. I hope it continues to go that way. Um, with my daughter, everything was pretty smoothly, too. I, I had a few more hiccups with her than I did this time around. Um, there were some different issues with the, um, when we were doing the ultrasound. I can't even remember if I've spoken in, with y'all about it. When we had had our anatomy scan with her, there was an issue when they were doing the ventricles in the brain. They were concerned she was pushing the borderline for hydrocephalus. It wasn't like... I mean, she was just borderline at that point, like the ventricles, they said it could be. And, I, oh God, I remember finding that out. It was like right around this time last year. And so my doctor wanted me to wait X amount of weeks. And then we would do another ultrasound and measure it again. And everything had like resolved. It's just they were, I don't know if they had like grown faster or what. I'm not quite sure on all that. I never, um, you know, I'd... I'm not a doctor, and I didn't, we didn't end up having that issue, so I don't know all the details, but everything was fine, but that was just, it was quite an ordeal. It took away so many months of my pregnancy, um, of being, like, truly content. We found out around October that, and then it was around December when we found out everything was okay, so anyways, that was a little stressful, but everything was good with her. She's perfectly healthy, um. So, it's been nice to not have anything so far. But you never know, and you should always be thankful because pregnancy is so not black and white. You know, it just seems like you want to have a baby, boom, you get pregnant, and you have a healthy baby, and you go on. And it's just so not that way. There's so many more things to it. So, so far I'm good. I'm still taking my iron peel. I've had a little bit of, like, that congestion that's going around. I don't know if it's going around for y'all or it's going around here. Um, so... Other than that, I'm good. So, I guess we'll talk about my doctor's appointment. <clears throat> well, I went today. My husband and my little girl came because they wanted to see the baby on the ultrasound. And, you know, when you're pregnant, they say don't lay on your back because it's kind of hard to breathe. Something about, like, something cutting off air circulation. And when you're at your house and you kind of lay around or when you lay in the bed, you just, like, you might lay on your back for a second and then you kind of subconsciously move around. Well, that table, it's like, it's so not comforting to pregnant people. And you're laying just flat. And 
you feel like you have to lay there because they're doing all this measuring and all this. And I started getting really like hot and then I started getting like anxious and I thought I was on the verge of a panic attack. So I'm like, I got to set up. And I'm setting up and you know, you have all that gel on your belly from them doing the ultrasound. If you're not familiar, they put like, it's kind of like, well, not really like a KY, but it's like a lubricant to move that thing around the sensor. And I had that all over me and I just, I had my husband go out in the hall and get me a cup of water. I thought I was, I thought I was having a panic attack, which I do have some anxiety, but I haven't had panic attacks in a while. And I kind of set up and I felt so dizzy and I was thinking, you know, I shouldn't have gotten up, but I just had to get off of that table. I was just so hot. I was wearing this. It's really not that super cool where I live anyways. And I had to get down on the floor and sit there to kind of, you know, get some like fresh air. And the lady was like, do you want me to bring you the fan? I said, yeah. So she came and put the little fan by me and I'm just like this. And she said, you know, I doubt it was really a panic attack. She said, you know, it's just, it's a lot of people when they're laying down like that and they can't, you know, they're not realizing that they're cutting off the circulation. She said, I have women say they're going to throw up or, you know, they feel like they're going to faint. And I thought, man, well, at least it's not me. I felt like I was being, you know, crazy. So we get back on the table and she's doing some more and it starts coming back again. So I get down on the floor again and I'm like, I'm the worst patient. I've never had this happen to me during an ultrasound. And so she was like, well, if you, if you want to take off your shirt, you can. So I ended up taking off my sweater and we, anyways, we got back up there and we finished it, but she did all the stuff and everything looked really good. You could see, um, she said she could see there was like a lot of hair and she did, you know, pictures of the face and they have some new technology they haven't had since I was pregnant with my daughter. It's like, real-time HD or something so you could see it was such a clear picture of the baby's face I mean it felt like it was right there and it was it was really a sweet little face um I don't really feel like the baby looked like I wouldn't say oh yeah she looks like my or he or she whatever looks like my daughter did at that point um I know some people do feel that way they can tell the same my daughter, when she was in my belly and we did the pictures and stuff, she looked so much like my dad. It was like, oh man, that's pop. But this baby, it was just like a little sweet little baby face. Um, my daughter said it looked like a boy, but I mean, it was just, it's a face. You can't see anything. And the ultrasound lady said that um, the legs were measuring. The legs look kind of short. <laughs> I have really short legs. My husband's not crazy tall. I think my daughter's going to have some height, so I hope if it's a boy that she doesn't get all the height, but you know, that's okay. Um, what else? It was just really exciting seeing the face, and you could see the baby like sucking around with its mouth, and you could see it like, it wasn't, I don't think, sucking its thumb, but it had its hand up here. My daughter, I forgot when she was in there, she was always doing this, always messing with her face, so that was real sweet. I did have more ultrasounds with her because of the different issues. So this was only the second time I've been able to see the baby really doing anything. And it's in the correct position, but I know they can always move around. But so far, that's good. Um, so that is about all. I will definitely get up and show you on my belly in a minute. But it was, um, it was really exciting seeing the little face. And she did say that the baby was uh, measuring around 4 pounds 9 ounces, which I thought was pretty good seemed kind of a healthy baby for that point to me since you know I, I have a while to go but I guess that's good she said it was um I don't know maybe 46 percentile range my daughter she weighed nine pounds when she was born so I'm hoping that I don't have that big of a baby again because I did deliver her um vaginally and I hope I don't want a c-section but I hope it's not a big that big of a baby I you know if I could choose I'd like choose like maybe a seven pounder that seems a little easier um nine pounds was a lot but you know everything will be okay either way so I will get back and show you my belly um it's big it's real big and it's all out in the front and if any of y'all still want to take guesses on what you think it's going to be please tell me I think it's fun to know I've had some people say girl but the majority of the people that are like strangers they say boy. I don't know. So, we'll see. Okay. Okay, so you can see...
can you, I mean, it is just massive. It is like such a big belly. I feel like it was just nothing, and then all of a sudden it's like boom. Okay, I can, I always can't believe I'm doing this. So this is, I mean, it is huge. It is just huge, huge, huge. But I have to say, like, for the most part, it is all in front. I mean, I don't think I look super pregnant from behind or other things. It is just straight up, going straight out, so... Okay, but as you can see, I'm still wearing regular length clothes. Everything's fine with that. Okay, I always can't believe I'm showing y'all a belly on the internet. It's like, wow. But I know that it is probably appreciated by some. I know Andrea enjoys seeing it. I'm sure others. But um, I guess that's about it. And as far as baby names, because I just cannot remember what I talk about. I'm having total pregnancy brain this time. I forget so much. And I don't want to go back and watch all of my pregnancy vlogs before I film one. But um, we definitely have a boy name picked out. I don't want to tell. I don't tell baby names. I might. I'll probably tell y'all. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about telling names. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll probably. But I don't want to tell before. But we do have a boy name picked out. A girl name we're still just like undecided on. And that's another thing. Cause it's like with my daughter before we knew she was a girl we had her name but we never had a boy name so is it like am i having a boy is that like subconscious probably not but um so we have a few names with girls that were kind of like thrown around but i'm just not in love with any of them at and i don't want to say that it's just we just loved my daughter's name so much it was so easy and i just love it that it just seems like nothing else is stands out as much and it's but I shouldn't feel that way because it's not like we can reuse her name it's not like we're picking something else it's, you know you have to come up with a second name so that's kind of hard because I definitely would like to have like a girl name picked out you know as well um we're actually thinking maybe the name we've picked out for our boy using the first name even if it is a girl um I don't know I don't know. I like, we both definitely like unique names. I don't want a name that anybody else really has. I don't mind if it's a name that you might have heard of, but I don't want her to go, like with my daughter, like her name, nobody else has it. I mean, I've never heard it. She's not going to go to school and have any of them in her class with that name. Probably not ever. Maybe. Maybe once she'll meet somebody with that name. And it's not like a weird name, or I don't think it's weird, but it's just, you know, it's original. It's her name. It's all her. And these popular names, they're popular for a reason because they're great names. They're pretty names. But I just don't want to name a child that name. That's just us. Everybody is different. That is fine. You can use the most common name and there's nothing, I mean, there's obviously nothing wrong with it. It's just, that's not what I wanted to do. So anyways, that makes it a little hard. Because a lot of times you think of a name or somebody suggests one. But I've heard it once or somebody went to school named their kid that. So I instantly don't want it. And I don't know. Some people may think that's silly. But that's us. So anyways, I will let you guys go. And I go back in two weeks. So I may just wait till two weeks and do another update. Um, unless anything crazy happens. So far everything's just going so like smoothly and seamlessly. That I feel like I haven't had to do a lot of updating. Um. Uh, I haven't really bought anything else baby-wise. I picked up a few things here and there, you know, some diapers, some clothes, like gender-neutral clothes, nothing crazy. Um, we have a lot of the same equipment and stuff that we're going to be able to use again. Not everything, obviously. And I'm kind of waiting until I know the gender before I do a lot of purchasing because I don't want to have... I don't want everything in this kid's life to be beige, white, gray, you know? Um, if it's a boy, I don't probably mind some of it as much, but if it's a girl, I want things a little more feminine. So we'll see. We'll see. But if it is a boy, I'll definitely have to get a car seat cover made for it because her car seat has some pink on it. But I think that is about it. So I will let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye.